Welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. I'm here at the airport. I'm filming B-roll because I'm about to get on a 36-hour international flight to get back to Thailand. I just gotta make videos where I can because I'm trying to get these out for you guys. Big shout out and thank you to Asus for sponsoring my trip out here to CES 2026. Now, I want to be clear that no brand has any control over my content. Asus is not even previewing these videos before I upload them, I, and yet they're still supporting me as a content creator, so I'm really grateful for them. Without further ado, let's get into this detailed hands-on overview. So today we're talking about the Asus ProArt PX13 GoPro Edition and non-GoPro Edition. The GoPro version comes with a few extras for an upgraded price, and I think some of you are going to find it worthwhile, like if you're a content creator, especially if you use GoPro products, then it might actually be worthwhile for you. So the thing that makes the 2026 ProArt PX13 special is the Strix Halo AMD Ryzen AI Max 395 Plus, which features a monster iGPU with 16 cores, 32 threads, which can basically crush creator workloads, can play games on ultra settings, QHD, at pretty reasonable frame rates. Some of the games are gonna require more upscaling, but for the most part, you're gonna be able to play ultra level games very easily, and it's gonna be a very good experience for you. Now, the tricky part here is that you only get a 60 hertz screen. So in terms of gaming, it's not the best in terms of refresh rate. And honestly, content creators, I feel like also prefer 120 hertz. You can move the mouse, you can control the mouse better. You can see your 120 frames per second footage at the full, you know, without missing any of the frames. I feel like even content creators prefer 120 hertz refresh rate just for a better user experience. This thing has a 13.3 inch, 1000 nits OLED, 100% P3 color gamut, touch enabled, stylus enabled display. It's a thing of beauty and it's fully reversible. So you can flip this around in a tablet mode, you can put it in a tent mode, you can lay it flat, and you can also just use it like a normal laptop. And it's an all metal build. It feels extremely solid in the head. Like it's a freaking tank. The really cool thing about the creator workloads and potentially local AI workloads with the Strix Halo is that the memory in this is unified. And when I tested the flow z13 which has the same silicone on the inside the memory speed was the fastest memory speed we have tested in a gaming laptop so far in 2025 and going to 2026 it still should be the fastest memory you can get in a laptop for productivity for ai rendering for whatever pretty much aside from actually running gpu vram that's going to be faster probably but for system memory this thing is just blazing fast and the fact that it's unified means you can go up to 96 gigs of vram on this so you're gonna be able to run huge local AI workloads. So I really think this is gonna be one of the best ways for gamers to fight back against the giant data warehouses. If you don't want AI data centers to dominate everywhere, then one of the key things is the average user needs to learn to run local AIs. The ability for this laptop to run huge local models is, is gonna be a tremendous advantage if you want to run smarter and smarter AI on local workloads with complete privacy, with no subscription model, like this is gonna be one of the very, very, very best computers like desktops and laptops put together because of the huge unified memory that's attached to a fast GPU. Not to mention this is very power efficient system overall. It's only 85 watts total for the iGPU and CPU put together. So it's like the total thermal power that this thing can take. And it's 130 watts USB-C power delivery on this chassis. Now you get one USB-A 3.2, so you do not need to have a USB-C to USB-A dongle in this. You get a micro SD card slot. I really wish this was a full-size SD card slot, especially since this is a pro art content creator focused laptop. Why is this not a full-size SD card slot? They really should have focused on that. You get an HDMI 2.1. You also get a combo headphone mic jack. You get 130 watts of USB charging with two USB 4 Type-C with display port out. So you get like some really good ports on this for such a small, thin, light, portable 13-inch laptop. Now, how light is it? Well, it's 3.04 pounds, so super thin and light. And you're going to be able to take this easily with you on the go and still whip it out. And you got a desktop CPU on the go, 16 cores, 32 threads. Like, I really love the Flow Z13, but I think I would much rather have something like the ProArt because you get that integrated keyboard, which is very important if you need to do a lot of typing like I do. I'm constantly typing up my reviews, my scripts, and answering emails. And having the integrated keyboard for me is just a lot better. You can use it in your lap. You can hold it in your hands like this, so much easier. It's just a lot better laptop experience for you. I would say the build quality on this was even better than the Zephyrus G14, because this metal felt extremely rigid and it had a cool design to it. The build quality, like it literally felt kind of like a weapon. Now, if there is one big weakness to this laptop, it's gonna be the regular day-to-day -day low power efficiency. Like since it has a desktop class equivalent CPU, it's not gonna be giving you like 10, 20 hours of battery life. You're gonna be killing this battery four to six hours, probably at most, 
but probably more like three to four would probably be my guess. Like it's not gonna be super long battery life because of the 16 core 32 thread. Those are big P cores, like no efficiency cores. And it's hard for the CPU cores to ramp down when they're being engaged with something like a browser. So maybe you can get some decent battery life if you really, really make sure that CPU is not being hit very hard. But the moment that CPU gets hit a little bit, the watch is gonna ramp up fairly quickly and the battery life is gonna go down very quick. But on the flip side, because it's a total of 85 watts for the full performance levels, like you're gonna get phenomenal performance on battery life probably some of the best performance you're going to find in a portable form factor gaming laptop now let's talk about the gopro version versus the regular version of the px13 the gopro version is going to come with a year's worth of subscription to gopro's premium plus subscription this is going to give you cloud upload so you, if you want to upload your gopro footage to the cloud you can easily do that you got three months subscription to adobe creator so like their whole creator suite for three months for free six month subscription to CapCut, and you also get a snazzy case design that looks super Super rugged and super cool compared to the regular boring old px13 and you also get a redesigned exterior chassis for the px13 gopro edition that looks really sick and has gopro branding on it i did try the keyboard on the px13 and it reminded me a lot of the flow x13 keyboard which i really liked for a 13 inch chassis like you get those separated out small arrow keys just like on the zephyrus lineup the key travel depth feels pretty good the overall space though does feel a little bit cramped compared to something like the g14 which is a little bit bigger chassis and gives you a little more space between the keys and the keycaps are a little larger overall i like the g14 keyboard a little bit more but for a 13 inch i still think this is very excellent and it does outperform most 13 inch laptop keyboards on the market 15.8 millimeters thin it is super thin comes with a 73 watt hour battery only weighs 1.39 kilograms or just barely over three pounds and you're getting the asus dial pad which is going to let you have better control for switching colors and for controlling those adobe applications and cap cut and whatever applications integrate that asus dial pad for super fine quick controls over for color wheels tool switching there's a lot of neat little things you can do with it you get pci gen 4 storage so no gen 5 here that's kind of too bad and something else that's really great is that the asus has an anti-reflective coating that helps prevent glare on the oled display which i think is a really superior thing after going around ces and seeing all the other oleds that just have a super glossy displays this one is going to let you see the display even in direct sunlight quite a bit better especially since it can peak up to a thousand nits brightness with 500 sustained you also get wi-fi 7 and bluetooth 5.4 and the GoPro Edition has a GoPro hotkey that you can map to the GoPro player, which is gonna let you quickly get into your GoPro footage. I do not let any brand control what I say. Everything I say is my authentic, true opinion. So if you value honesty and authenticity in your tech reviews, please consider subscribing for future content. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out.